I'm Mike Morrill. Here we are standing in the unburned side of the uh, fire up here in Donny Creek. Just going to have a discussion with you about the fuels and why we had to use the tactic of aerial ignitions. Part of the reason this fire got so big is the fact that we are in the black spruce and we're within the uh, parameters of the spring dip, which is a term we use where the snow has left and the vegetation has not woke up yet and started to drop moisture. So the vegetation itself is very dry at that point, and very, very flammable. Bud break occurs is when spring dip is just finishing. Between the flammability of the black spruce and the fact that it has branches right down to the ground, in this fuel type, it goes from being just smoldering ground fire to full tree consumption in a matter of minutes. It, it, it's extremely volatile, very challenging to work in. Um, as far as spotting distances, we've seen spotting up, up to a kilometer already on this fire, where it is throwing embers and they are starting a kilometer ahead of the main body of the fire. So very challenging, um, complex fuel type to work in that's very dangerous when it gets going. So by doing our prescribed burn or our ignition operations in that fuel type, we have now eliminated this as volatile. It is now safe to work in for crews. Morgan Bogine, I'm a fire behavior specialist trainee as well as an ignition specialist trainee. So this fuel type is very challenging for the crews and it is very dangerous. The rates of spread that we were seeing was about 20 meters a minute. Uh, that in this terrain, that is faster than a lot of the crews can move. Uh, there's a bunch of moss here, so the ground is very spongy. It's hard to walk through. You can see how dense this stand is. Um, you can hardly see 10 meters into it. So crews can't move quickly through here. Uh, so it is a very, very dangerous uh, stand to work in.